Hello. Welcome to Yakin College Football. I'm your host, The Yak, and in this first ever episode, uh, I'm going to discuss the Florida-Oklahoma national title game. Uh, in this part, I'm going to talk about sort of the pregame hype and the major storylines, uh, and then uh, in the next one, I'm going to talk about uh, the personnel comparisons and sort of the psychology of the teams going into the game. So let's get started. Um, this is going to be a great game, or at least it has the potential to be. Uh, it's being hyped up a lot. We've got two Heisman winners, uh, two great coaches, two great offenses. Uh, there's so much to like about this matchup. Uh, it's not quite up to the level of the 2005 Rose Bowl as far as star power and um, storylines and potential just to be a great game, but uh, it's up there. In fact, actually, I take it back. I think storyline-wise, this one has really almost just as much going for it. Um, and as far as that goes, I see there being one big storyline for each team. Um, in the case of Oklahoma, I see the big storyline as being, will Oklahoma uh, cement its reputation as one of the best programs of this era, or along with Bob Stoops as a coach, or will they cement their reputation as being the team that never really can win the big game? Because uh, you probably know that Oklahoma has lost four BCS games in a row including two uh, embarrassing losses in the national title game uh, and two losses to lesser opponents in Boise State and West Virginia when Oklahoma just didn't really come out to play. So, you know, Bob Stoops has had an outstanding uh, career at Oklahoma. He won a national title there in his second season, and he's won quite a few conference titles since then. Um, but uh, lately, a lot of people have been doubting his ability and Oklahoma's ability as a team to get up for these big games, and for good reason. Um, so, you know, the difference in winning and losing this game for Oklahoma could be the difference in Oklahoma um, just really establishing itself as uh, one of the great programs of this era and um, Oklahoma being branded with the unfortunate label of uh, the big game uh, choker team. So that's Oklahoma. And on the other side, uh, I feel like the the legend of uh, both Tim Tebow and Urban Meyer is, um, you know, it's already been established and it has the potential to grow into uh, just an epic story with the win here. <coughs> Coach Meyer's already won a national title uh, at Florida, Tebow's already won a Heisman and been a part of the national title. But, um, you know, a lot of those players were Ron Zook's recruits, and Tebow wasn't the starting quarterback. So if they win this year, then it's 100% their own title, and it's the second title they'll have been a part of. And just to come into an SEC school like that for Meyer and have that kind of success is extraordinary. And, you know, Tebow... As much as I, like I'm sure many of you, have gotten sick of hearing about him and maybe get a little annoyed by his rah-rah antics, um, he's a special player. Uh, he's a great leader. He's a great passer. He's a great runner. And uh, he has a lot of heart. And uh, if he can lead his team to victory, then he really will have a shot at being the most decorated college football player in history uh, as he comes into his senior year. Um, so there's really a chance for, uh, Coach Meyer and Tebow to do something really special, along with the other Gators, of course. Um, and for Oklahoma, uh, I think the reputation of their program and of Coach Stoops, uh, as a motivator is really, uh, going to hinge on this game pretty seriously. So they're both playing for an awful lot in addition to that crystal football <clears throat> so, let's talk a second about um, some of the smaller factors uh, to, to think about coming into the game. I'd like to start with a couple that don't matter. Um, one is the whole conference discussion, the whole conference comparison. It 
never ceases to drive me insane to hear people debating which conference is better and why this conference is lost to this conference means this, this, that, and the other for another game. There are two teams playing in the national title game, Oklahoma and Florida. The other teams are irrelevant. Year after year, you see teams with mutual opponents uh, play games, and it does not work out how it's expected. Uh, Southern Cal, when they blew out Oklahoma in 2004 uh, in the 2005 Orange Bowl, they uh, the Pac-10 had not looked good that year. Their toughest opponent was Cal, who uh, lost uh, an ugly game to Texas Tech in the Holiday Bowl. So the Pac-10 uh, was really... Uh, looking pretty weak in that bowl season, and what do you know, SC comes out and just blows Oklahoma out of the water. Um, so it's a logical fallacy to talk about this conference stuff. Just forget about it. Um, then another thing is the Heisman curse, and if I have to explain why that's a ridiculous thing to consider in this game, then uh, we have some other issues to worry about. But, uh, you know, maybe it's a small distraction, but it's just not even a blip on the radar as far as actually determining the outcome of this game. Um, then there's some other details that are more important. Uh, the game's in Miami, which uh, is something to think about as it's obviously much closer to Florida than to Oklahoma. And Although Oklahoma travels well, it's hard to imagine uh, Florida won't bring a little uh, bigger fan base to the game. Uh, there are injuries on both sides. Uh, of this game that could make a big difference. Uh, DeMarco Murray, arguably Oklahoma's best running back, uh, is injured and out of the game. Um, Chris Brown's a fantastic back, uh, and even the third stringer, Madhu, uh, played a very good game in the Big 12 championship game, so they're still going to be able to run the ball, but... DeMarco Murray's the running back with the hands, the running back who catches passes out of the backfield, and he's also a key player on special teams. So um, that could uh, reduce uh, the complexity of Oklahoma's attack, um, and that could make a difference. And then we've got Percy Harvin injured for Florida, who's their most dynamic playmaker. You know, Tebow's great, but uh, he's not going to scamper 80 yards like Harvin can, and he says his ankle's 90%, but um, he also said that cutting still feels awkward. So, you know, if he's not at full strength or if he twists his ankle early in the game, <clears throat> it's going to make a big difference. Uh, it's definitely going to weaken Florida's attack. Um, then another little storyline is Dan Mullen, uh, Florida's offensive coordinator, uh, took the Mississippi State job. Uh, as head coach for next season. So he has not been completely focused on this game, and that's been a distraction for the whole team to worry about. Is he going to call plays? Is he not going to call plays? So, um, you know, there's obviously there are uh, myriad little tidbits like this on both sides of this game that could make a difference. But, um, you know, in the end, I think it's going to come down to talent and uh, the psychology of the two teams. And, uh, that's what I will get into in my next video, part two.